While the best gaming keyboard very much depends on each user's situation, there are a few broad recommendations I can make. My favorite gaming keyboards have a few things in common, mechanical keys, streamlined designs, and RGB lighting. RGB lighting is not strictly necessary, but it's one of those things that's surprisingly hard to give up after you've had it for a while. It helps make your keyboard feel like it's uniquely yours. For more detailed information and the price, I will leave you a link in the description of this video. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Now, let's get started. Every once in a blue moon, I'll test a product like the Corsair K70 MK.2 and realize that it has no significant flaws. This peripheral is the only keyboard to earn a 5-star review at Best Gadget Pick. It's comfortable and offers a flawless typing experience, thanks to authentic Cherry MX key switches. It's gorgeously designed and beautiful to look at, thanks to extensive RGB lighting options. But, most importantly, it works wonders in-game, as it parses every command quickly and accurately. You can even set up custom profiles for each one of your favorite games, then select a lighting pattern to go along with it. From its discrete media keys to its game mode, which prevents you from accidentally tabbing out of a game, the K70 MK.2 is a delight to gadget pickle. If you can stomach its high asking price, the K70 MK.2 is just about the best gaming keyboard you can buy. Reasons to buy Gorgeous design Key switch selection High quality components Reasons to avoid Expensive The Razer Sinosa V2 is a cheap gaming keyboard suitable for newcomers to PC gaming. This membrane keyboard lacks the comfortable mechanical keys of its more expensive cousins, although it has about everything you'd expect from a full-featured gaming keyboard. The Sinosa V2 features full RGB lighting, a programmable game mode to prevent you from accidentally shutting down your game mid-session, discrete media keys, and even some handy cable management. This is a good offer if you don't want to drop $150 or more on a keyboard. There are a reason membrane keyboards are usually very cheap, and the Sinosa V2 never quite transcends its key style. Typing on the keyboard is a shrug-worthy experience, and it may not match the input speed of fancier models optimized for esports. Programming the RGB lighting is also harder than it needs to be. But if you've already spent most of your money on a fancy PC and need to go light on accessories, the Sinosa V2 is a fine choice. Reasons to buy Robust RGB lighting Profiles in game mode Reasonable price Reasons to avoid Convoluted software Bulky, plain design The Razer Black Widow Lite is probably the most versatile keyboard on this list. There's something wonderfully minimalist about its tankyless design, simple white lighting, and quiet Razer orange switches. Razer originally pitched the Black Widow Lite as a keyboard that splits the difference between gaming and productivity applications, and it's not hard to see why. This peripheral is small, straightforward, and relatively inexpensive. It's also perhaps the most understated accessory Razer has ever produced, the company is usually a little louder than this. One potential drawback is that the Black Widow Lite's keys are fairly squeaky before installing a series of rubber O-rings. The rings are included, but installation is a slow, painstaking process. You'll also have to live without a media bar, which is often a boon for productivity users. Otherwise, the Black Widow Lite can help you excel in tournaments or excel. Reasons to buy Unobtrusive design Decent mechanical switches not too expensive. Reasons to avoid. Squeaky, cramped keys. Few useful extras. Only time will tell for sure, but I believe that the Logitech G915 represents the future of gaming keyboards. Just as gaming mice and headsets have become increasingly wireless over the past few years, the G915 demonstrates how keyboards can take the same route without sacrificing aesthetics or performance. The G915 is a gorgeous, ultra-thin gaming keyboard that connects to computers via a USB dongle or Bluetooth. There's no lag, there are no drop signals. It's just as quick and responsive as any wired peripheral. Thanks to low-profile key switches and full RGB lighting, the G915 is both comfortable and visually striking. Its only real downside is that it costs a lot of money. 
But considering that it will save your desk from unsightly wires and last for many years, it could be a great investment. Reasons to buy. Excellent key switches. Beautiful design. Robust software. Reasons to avoid. No wrist rest. Very expensive. The Corsair K70 RGB TKL Champion Series is a mouthful, but it's also one of the best gaming keyboards you can buy. This is particularly true if you're in the market for a TKL or 10 keyless model. Like its full-size counterpart, the Corsair K70 MK.2, the K70 RGB TKL features authentic Cherry MX keys, a gorgeous design, and robust software. You can customize intricate lighting patterns, set up profiles for individual games, or even reprogram any key you choose. It's a versatile system. Like other Corsair keyboards, the K70 RGB TKL is pretty expensive. Furthermore, while its discrete media keys come in handy, their non-standard configuration makes them a little more difficult to use than what you'd find on a full-size model. Aside from that, though, the Corsair K70 RGB TKL is a nearly flawless device. Reasons to buy. Gorgeous design. Authentic Cherry MX key switches. Handy tournament features. Reasons to avoid. Expensive. Media controls have a learning curve. The HyperX Alloy Origins 60 demonstrates that mini keyboards can be good for gaming. The 60% keyboard doesn't have a numpad, a function row, or arrow keys, but if you can live with learning some button shortcuts, it's a fantastic way to streamline your gaming experience while saving some desk space. Furthermore, the Alloy Origins 60 employs comfortable HyperX red key switches and offers a full array of RGB lighting. The Alloy Origins 60 might be a tough sell if you're not already committed to a mini keyboard design. Touch typists will find many of their favorite buttons missing, and the key switches are a little louder than you'd expect. Still, as many gaming keyboards go, this is one of the better ones. Reasons to buy. Tiny profile. Comfortable key switches. Pretty RGB lighting. Reasons to avoid. Not ideal for productivity. Keys are a little loud. When was the last time you got a compliment on your keyboard? When I reviewed the Rockcat Vulcan IMO 121, I had a steady stream of co-workers parading past my desk, telling me how gorgeous my keyboard looked. The Vulcan IMO 121 features a sleek black chassis with a subtle grain design, on top of which, you'll find brightly colored, translucent key switches and ultra-thin black keycaps. If you set the keyboard up with rainbow lighting effects, which the Rockcat Swarm software lets you do, you may find it difficult to tear your eyes away. Of course, aesthetics alone aren't what makes the Vulcan IMO 121 so good. The typing experience is quick and comfortable, and the in-game performance is impeccable. Thanks to discrete media buttons, you can set up profiles for individual games and control your music at a tap. Also, worth mentioning the Rockcat Vulcan TKL Pro is a suitable alternative. Reasons to buy. Gorgeous design. Choice of key switches. Great performance. Reasons to avoid. SoSO software. Incomplete media bar. The Logitech G915 TKL is exactly what it sounds like, a tankyless version of the similarly excellent Logitech G915. Like the full-size model, the G915 TKL is a stylish and expensive peripheral. It's also one of the market's only wireless mechanical gaming keyboards. If you want to ditch your wired setup but don't have much desk space available, this is probably the model for you. As with other Logitech models, the G915 TKL benefits from excellent key switches, intuitive software, and a durable design. You still get discrete media keys, thin, elevated keycaps, and per-key RGB illumination. While the G915 TKL costs almost twice as much as similar wired models, it's arguably worth the premium, especially if you move the keyboard around to take advantage of its USB dongle and Bluetooth connection profiles. Reasons to buy Compact size. Excellent switches. Discrete media keys. Reasons to avoid. Extremely expensive. No wrist rest. The Razer Huntsman V2 Analog represents a novel experiment with Razer keyboards, analog optical key switches. 
In simple terms, this means that the keys activate with a light-based, optical, system rather than one based on pressure, mechanical, or electricity, membrane. From a moment-to-moment -moment gameplay perspective, this doesn't make a tremendous difference. But if you play at an extremely high tournament level, the slightly faster signal could come in handy. Beyond that, the Huntsman V2 Analog offers the standard suite of Razer keyboard features, including a programmable software suite and full RGB lighting capabilities. The coolest feature, though, is the ability to program per key actuation. This means you can program certain keys to actuate at lower or higher levels of pressure than their neighbors. It's an innovative feature we'd like to see implemented in other devices. Reasons to buy. Innovative actuation features. Gorgeous design. Great performance. Reasons to avoid. Keys feel stiff. Inconsistent software. Every once in a while, a gaming keyboard like the SteelSeries Apex 5 comes along. These models attempt to combine a membrane keyboard smoothness with a mechanical keyboard's responsiveness. They're not always wholly successful, but the price is right. The Apex 5 offers a better experience than a traditional membrane keyboard, with slightly more comfortable keys and a full RGB lighting suite. The Apex 5 also takes a few gambles that don't entirely pay off. The small OLED screen in the upper right corner doesn't add much and doesn't offer a significant price break over a full mechanical keyboard, particularly if you're not married to RGB lighting. Still, if you want to get your feet wet in mechanical gaming keyboards without committing fully, the Apex 5 represents a good middle ground. Reasons to buy. Reasonable price. Good in-game performance. Smart multimedia key. Reasons to avoid. The membrane-slash-mechanical hybrid doesn't add much. Somewhat dull lighting.